Welcome back to Real Estate Mindset. Now, today's video, this time it's actually absolutely bonkers. Don't forget that. Today's video is rent is fixing to skyrocket. So what we're gonna do overall today, guys, is I'm gonna share with you my opinions on rent and, and where rent is headed moving forward into 2022 and 2023. And we're actually gonna review a video from CoreLogic. So a doctor is gonna come on CoreLogic and basically explain exactly how much rent has surged and what it's looking like moving into later into 2022 and into 2023. Now, the problem right now, guys, is we are at a 40 year high of inflation and that is essentially strangleholding new builders from putting on new homes onto the market. The supply chain disruptions, there are so many things that are going on right now that are causing more people to rent. And because more people are renting right now, it's essentially making inflation worse. We have so many issues going on here, but because rent is potentially going to increase in 2023, not decrease, it is now more important than ever to prepare to purchase a home. And that's kind of, again, why my channel exists. As you guys know, I turn my primary residence into a rental house and I'm renting myself right now. So instead of buying, I decided to rent. I just placed my family and my children to wait out this crazy, crazy market. So if you're renting right now, buckle down, save your money and prepare to invest because it may be super important that you do that in 2023 and 2024, because there may be a buying window before prices potentially go back up because real estate traditionally always trends up. Now we're going to take a look at this video right now, but before I do remember, I am not a financial advisor. I'm an opinion sharer, a realtor in Houston and a loan officer in Texas and a Trek CE provider as well of a few years. So education is my passion. And if you guys could please like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And as always, you guys, please comment comment below. I really respect a lot of my subscribers and your experiences and your investment strategies. And by the way, I don't use WhatsApp and I don't push cryptocurrency. I'm trying to get those spammers out of my comment section, but what can you do? Let's check this video out right now. Welcome to the CoreLogic Economic Outlook for April, 2022. Every month I will walk you through our data-driven analysis of the economy and the property industry. Let's jump into it. Recent price indexes show that inflation is at a 40-year high. Supply chain disruptions have led to a spike in prices for various goods, which has added to the cost of construction and delayed home completions. Housing is a big part of every family's monthly spending. So when housing costs go up, it also adds to inflation measurement. Rent is the main way that housing costs enter U.S. inflation metrics. For owner-occupied homes, the government estimates a rental equivalent to assign value to the flow of housing services. The rent imputed for owner-occupied homes has a large weight in the Consumer Price Index, or CPI. Rent represents 24% of the overall CPI and 30% of the core CPI, which excludes the volatile food and energy components. So you guys, essentially what this is saying is 24 to 30% of a lot of household incomes actually goes to paying rent. And with rent potentially going to be higher next year in 2023, that's why I keep telling you guys, you guys got to stop renting. Okay. Now renting right now. Okay. I know I'm renting. Renting right now may actually be a good thing, but overall, in my opinion, it's not a good thing. And you guys need to do the best you can, in my opinion, to get out of that situation because essentially you're paying someone else's mortgage and you're wasting your money. In my situation, when I pay a mortgage, I actually get tax benefits as well. So you guys, you need to try to get out of the rental situation. And that's why I'm always saying, save your money and build your credit worthiness and find other streams of income. Because again, I believe that in probably the end of 2022, but 2023 into 2024, it's going to be your turn and opportunity to purchase your own primary residence. So I know it's super hard and a lot of money is going to paying rent, but that doesn't mean you can't save money. And that doesn't mean you can't put yourself in a situation to buy in a little while. But again, renting is traditionally horrible. But right now, I think there is merit to continue to rent because the housing market is so terrible and toxic right now. Let's continue with this video. The imputed rent is based on data collected on rental homes. Since a one-year lease is the most common term in the rental market, 
the average rent will change gradually over the coming year to reflect whether the flow of new rentals is at a higher or lower rent than the average. The CoreLogic Single Family Rent Index measures the change in rent on new rentals, not the average change for the rental stock. Due to the prevalence of one-year leases, the CPI rent metric lags our rent index by about 12 months. During the last year, new single-family rentals experienced a much larger growth in rent than indicated by the government's average metric. Based on the 12.6% annual rise in rent in January single-family rent index, we project that the CPI rental equivalence measure will accelerate to 6% growth by early next year. So you guys, 12.6% surge in rent. And really what the problem is about that is it's not going to keep up with our wages. I believe our wages only went up 5%. And that's old news. That's old data. I believe our wages actually may be going down. But the problem with such drastic percentage increases is we can't keep up with it. Normal Americans, they can't keep up with that pace, 12.6%. That didn't keep up with wages, but not only that, what I found very intriguing about this video is actually CoreLogic expects rent to increase over 6% in 2023, 6% higher in 2023. So if you think that you're paying high rent right now, I know I'm paying high rent. I believe I'm paying over about $200 a month too much for rent. And, and that is because there was no inventory when I rented and I had to kind of settle for this rental. It's actually a downsize for my primary residence. But nevertheless, I already know that I am definitely paying too much in rent. So imagine it going up another 6% next year. That is why I'm always making these videos, several videos, the same theme, save your money, work on your credit and become an owner of a house. That is one great way to potentially retire. Houses are really, really great investments. So get out of your rental the best you can. I know life happens. And even if you can't purchase in 2023 and 2024, your time may come. Just don't give up. Let's finish out this video right now. We could also compare the CPI rent with our CoreLogic index at the metro level. And we notice the same 12 month lag of the CPI rent compared to our index. Thus, the rapid rise in the CoreLogic single family rent index for many metros in 2021 implies that rents will rise a lot in the 2022 CPI, creating a headwind that limits the amount that inflation will decline after the supply chain disruptions are behind us. For more information on CoreLogic's perspective on the property market, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and visit our blog. See the link below. You guys, if you want some more information from CoreLogic, definitely like their channel and subscribe to their channel. But what I really think is important to understand with this video is, essentially, it's going to be difficult to decrease inflation with rent so out of control because remember, rent kind of lags. So that's why he's essentially saying that even if price, you know, even if home prices go down in 2023, that does not mean that rent is going to go down in 2023 because of inflation, because of the lag, because of the one year leases. So in other words, you guys, inflation is only going to get worse. The Federal Reserve only raised the federal discount rate or funds rate, federal funds rate to 0.25% or 25 basis points to fight inflation. So really there's not a lot being done to fight inflation right now. So just you guys, all I'm saying is it, you know, for my situation, it's getting more and more expensive to wait on the sideline, but it's to me, it's still worth it because it's too toxic for my taste to get back into the market, even though I'm watching every day, cause I'm trying to pinpoint when I can buy. But if you're renting Listen to what I'm saying. Don't get stuck in that trap, especially if you can work from home. If you can work from home, find a place that's further away, you know, a nice place. It doesn't have to be a bad place, but a, a nice place that's further away that maybe is cheaper in rent. But as always, you guys, I really want you to own your own house. It is a beautiful thing. It is very empowering, and it, it's just the adult thing to do. It's really cool, actually. But other than that, you guys, this is going to conclude this video Stay very aware of rent skyrocketing in 2023 and do something about it. Okay, so hopefully I brought this to light and I helped a little bit. Now, as always, guys, if you're investing in real estate, I wish you luck and I hope you win.